least make a pretense that they have a job, other than taking the gleanings of... Well, they do, they do. But but the point is is that they're not looked at as, oh, Rabbi so-and-so, he's so holy, you know, he eats our sloppy seconds, because, <laughs> you, know, you know, that's not something you associate with Judaism. But this here is kind of a sloppy seconds verse. Right. No, the Kohanim, the Levites, they have no inheritance. They live on, you know, you give them your scraps, because, like, like and then Hinduism, but also Catholicism, they are married to Israel, kind of. The same way, uh, 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 you know, uh, the monastic female orders in Catholicism, well, I'm married to Jesus, that's why I don't have to, you know, I don't need to know a man, I know the Lord. Like, um, it, it reminds me of that, um, which I don't normally associate with Judaism. But it should be, I mean, you know, that would, that would be something. Say, oh, Rabbi so-and-so, he's such a big tzaddik, like, I'm going to give him, like, like you know, normally I just give him the really crappy guy. This time I'm going to give him maybe a little more. Cause he, you know, that's, I think that would offend the dignity of most rabbis if they lived that, if that was how their role was understood. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I, uh... more about that and that they uh, um, oh yeah j again um, uh, I mean this is why I think the, the Mashiach is uh, it's going to be tricky to figure out when he's here because again this anxiety about there shall not be found this is uh, 1810 uh, chapter 18 verse 10 there shall not be found among you one who causes his son or daughter to pass through the fire one who practices divinations an astrologer one who reads omens a sorcerer or an animal charmer one who inquires of over Yidoni, who are presumably other gods, or one who consults the dead. For anyone who does these is an abomination of Hashem. Okay, so again, it's like last week's portion, right, with, with if there comes a, a prophet and a dreamer of dreams, kill him. And here, if there's someone, someone who really impresses you with his spiritual insight, kill him. And it's just... It's, it, it's suspicious of anyone who is who is compelling or who is seems to have insights that aren't I don't know it, it's I mean so how do you know when the Mashiach is here because he's going to I mean this is what he's going to do he's going to make he's going to make people want to pass through fire he's going to practice divinations he'll seem he's to not going to make people pass through he's not going to well, tell us to throw our kids into the fire no no pass through fi pass through the fire throwing your kids through the fire right well I'm, I, I, I don't know how that verse is interpreted but I'm, I'm thinking that he'll make one of people pass through the fire in the same way that Shabtai Tzvi made people want to pass through the fire. He had people emigrating, in, you know, the, the false messiah in the 17th, the 16, uh, 17th century go, go, going to Turkey from Europe to, well, they were passing um, passing through the fire for him. I, I'm using it metaphorically there, that it's... Spiritually. Uh, spiritually. He's speaking spiritually. I'm sorry. I, I, hey, Kunditi, glad to see you in the chat room. Kunditi, Kun he likes to get a Thailand three or four times a year. Oh, Kun 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 Oh, Kun Diddy. Kun Diddy. You, you go to Thailand? Did you go to you go to Pat Pong, Kun Diddy? Because and it's not because of the uh, the Buddhist temples, and it's not for the uh, ancient art treasures. Well, what else is there to do in in, in Thailand? I, I thought it was just Buddhism and natural splendor and. I wonder if it's something we said. <laughs> I've been there. I, I actually, I went to. I know. Come on. He married a Thai wife. So oh, the kind of the crimson style. Sorry, she's like thirty years younger than him. I didn't know that. I thought you were. So some guys go there and like, yeah, I just came back from Bangkok. No, he goes. He goes yeah. there several times a year for that exact yeah. reason. Yeah, yeah. No, he's kind of crimp now that he's married, but right. Sorry about that. I I, I don't judge your choices. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I mean you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't know. I'm having a very diverse crowd in that chat. Yeah. Well, I, um, again, and uh, the, the, there's this. Okay, and and 18:9. When you come to the land that Hashem your God gives you, you shall not learn to act according to the abominations of those nations. So again, this is another theme. Again, which is that uh, it's not about internal impurities. It's about don't import foreign ideas into Israel. Like wearing a tie. Like so wearing a tie. The ultra orthodox regard wearing a tie as a superfluous garment and the chukim goyim, the ways of the Gentiles. So that's why they don't wear ties. And but that's why he, I don't wear a tie either. But what? But they do wear. But they do wear the the. I wear a jacket, but but a tie is superfluous, and it's the ways of the goyim. Okay. So ultra, 
But the more Orthodox Jews don't wear ties. Well, what's the saying in Chukim Goyim? Chukot Goyim. Chukot. The, the ways of the Goyim. Goyim. Um, it's interesting. So this quote is also right. Follow the ways of the Goyim. Well, but I have to I hate to break it to them. My understanding, anyway, is that the the whole manner of ultra Orthodox dress, the black jacket, and the, that, right, that right. is also Chukot Goyim. But I guess they let, it was the 17th century Polish aristocracy at the time that the Hasidic movement was founded. But they liked those Goyim, I guess. Is that the difference? I'm not sure that... Well, part of the difference is that the tie is super Oh, gotcha, 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 and gotcha, so gotcha. That's But you do have to write. But you do need, a, like, a... Well, but a jacket in Los Southern California... A jacket, summer. if it's hot, it, it does seem superfluous. But certainly you do have to wear a jacket when you make Kiddush and when you do Burkhada Mazon. So it, it's a respect thing, but I'm not sure why. I know that's that's the either the minhag or the halakha. Right. You have to wear a jacket when you bench. Okay. And, uh, but certainly at, at, at Sinai, uh, uh, Moshe yeah. Rabbeinu must have told us what a Jew should wear rather than what a Polak should wear. So, so like, it, it, I mean, everything was, the, you know, they, they said everything at Sinai, even though it's hard to, you know, so, so well, what did he say about that? Like, well, I mean, shouldn't, they, shouldn't there be something Jewish rather than importing these foreign right, traditions right. and wearing that jacket? I think they're an abomination. You know what that means. <laughs> Extirpate. Well, there's okay. one thing in here you'll like, and that's yeah. near the end, like chapter 20, um, verse 19. If you're besieging a city, you're not allowed to uh, chop down the fruit-bearing trees. Oh, that's so, you're like, you're an environmentalist kind of green-friendly guy, right? No, I'm not. You're I'm not an environmentalist. I like animals. I mean, I'm, I'm an ethical vegetarian, but I'm not a... But no, I appreciate oh, the sentiment. You must appreciate <laughs> yeah. the sentiment <laughs> yeah. of cutting down fruit yeah. trees. Yeah, and Jesus made a fig tree wither because he got angry, and I right. don't like that, so... Yeah, that's so why that's we're so, Jewish. So that's why I'm Jewish. And not Christian. Because tikkun olam, it does it. Where it no, but it, yes, but no, that is nice. You don't... I mean, at the same time, I'm going to stick with the positive interpretation. You could say they're just trying to, hey, don't destroy something useful. But at the same time, well, no, maybe it's just don't be needlessly destructive. Hold on to the fruit-bearing trees. That's nice. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm pretty tough. Yeah, so yeah, I it's do. been a long... Uh, well, I enjoyed this. I, 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 uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. And, and, and we'll, we'll, as good as we are, believe it or not, we'll get better. As, uh, our rhythms will get better. Yay, Torah. Yeah. Yay, yay, yay.